You know, my first guest tonight is the elf Arwen from the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Starting March 26th, she can be seen co-starring with Ben Affleck in the new movie Jersey Girl. Please welcome Liv Tyler. <laughs> Some cool pants. I'm, I'm actually having trouser situation. What's a <laughs> because, trouser situation? Well, because they're kind of 70s, like high waist yeah, down. They're yeah. fine when you stand, but then when you sit, I suddenly understand why all women in the 70s had camel toes. <laughs> <laughs> going in our 15th anniversary show, I think. <laughs> My personal reel that I watch over and over. <laughs> so how are you? I'm good, thank Let's you. begin our professional interview. <laughs> Were you planning to say that? I just you no, just well, thought. No, yeah. it just was such an issue, and you brought it up. I, so I thought. I'd yes, it up. I just said nice pants, and I guess I had. <laughs> next thing you know, we're in Camel Toe Alley. All right. Thank you. All right. Charlie Rose, this is not. I'll tell you that much right now. All right, now let's talk about, well, first, so much to talk about. Uh, Lord of the Rings, your big part of this trilogy. You guys walk away with a record number, tying the record for the number of Oscars all night long during the nine-hour ceremony that I'm watching at home. <laughs> Lord of the Rings, Lord of the Rings, Lord of the Rings. Was there a point where you just got embarrassed? Like, we're eating all the hot dogs at the picnic, you know? Like, it's... We, it's too much, do you know what I mean? Like, Absolutely. you're just like, oh, please, someone else win, because it's going to be too <laughs> embarrassing if we win a 15th or 19th or 35th Oscar. It definitely, I mean, first of all, it feels so surreal when you're actually there as opposed right. to on TV. And there was a moment where Elijah, I sort of turned around to Elijah, and he was like, I feel so guilty. What's right. going on? Right, right. It's almost it, unbecoming, there was you know. So many amazing movies, and yeah, it does feel a little bit like that. And like Clint Eastwood sitting there, like, <laughs> and, you, and you guys didn't have to hold the Oscars in his face and go, ha, 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 ha. Um, You know, I wanted to ask you something about, speaking of Elijah, what I, well, I've had him on the show a bunch of times, we've talked about this, and he got so much into being a hobbit that he, and, and he tells me, I don't know if this is true, but you'll back this up maybe, that he and Sean Astin, when they were shooting the movies and the other hobbits, would talk to each other as hobbits and sort of hang out in their free time in the hobbit costumes with the hobbit feet. And he says he's building a hobbit home. Like, he wants to build a hobbit house and so live in it. he is a hobbit I'm home. just worried that he's gone around the bend. Is he... Did you see a lot of this on the set? Are they charging people with wooden swords in the streets? Well, I mean, we shot the movie for so many years, yeah. and they always had to be in their costumes in between things. I mean, they had to get there at like five, four or five in the morning and stand up on a box for an hour to have their feet on. So yeah, they were in their Harry Hobbit feet all day. Right, and they, and they just... would sit around in the trailer like watching football and sort of with their feet up. <laughs> like a lot of men do at home, thing. only they yeah. have size 98 feet, yeah, <laughs> that are strapped on. Uh, what about the experience of presenting at the Oscars? And uh, it's, they always have this statistic that, you know, one billion people worldwide are watching. Terror. Did you think about that when you had to walk up there and... and... You can't help but think about it. I mean, the, uh, this time I was a little bit better. The last time I presented at the Oscars, I was like a nervous wreck for two months, having to complete um, anxiety attacks. But this time, um, it wasn't... I mean, it was scary. I went... I thought I only had one little speech to introduce, like, a medley of songs, and I mm -hmm. got there, and they gave me three pages of text and said they wanted me to come out three times, and I thought they were kidding. I was like, this is a joke, right? And then they, and then they said, and we want you to sing all the songs, no, I too. No, Get out and dance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> But then they said the reason why they needed to do that is because they needed time in between each performance to set up and get the musicians out. So I thought to myself, oh, the Oscars needs me. That's my vote of motivation to like, get over my fear. I must save the Oscars. <laughs> I was so scared, and that was the only way I could get around it. They made it seem like they needed me to kill time. Did you think about a billion people as you were doing it? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's a better way to do it. I always... I do this show just for, like, the group of... I don't know how you do that. Well, I do it just for the group of people here, because if I start thinking about the 900 people watching at home... <laughs> that would freak me out. It would take me out of the ballgame. I watch 
happy all the time. I know, I know. <laughs> we do so well, and I kid. <laughs> Self-deprecating, that's my name. Uh, I'm an ass. Uh, <laughs> Now, let's talk about Jersey Girl. Uh, this is a movie that you, you did with Ben Affleck. Mm -hmm. and, Kevin Smith and Kevin Smith directed it. And Ben Affleck's your, your love interest yeah. in the film. And you had a lot of sort of passionate scenes in one section. I don't want to give away too much. But Not this in is, this movie as much as our Megadon, but we had the, some hot and heavy moments. In that. And you guys, and you guys in that movie, uh, you guys uh, had to kiss a lot, didn't you? Yes, in all sorts of strange places. I was remember looking online the other day at some photos of us like making out in a puddle and on an oil rig and in the turbo booster of the shuttle. You I'm went like, online to watch yourself making no, out with Ben Affleck. <laughs> In Armageddon, that's such a strange. No, I just was trying to remember. Did your boyfriend so walk in at ago. some point? You're like, oh, it's a screensaver. Uh. No. It just you were looking for reference. I was just trying to remember. It was so long ago that time, and so right. I just checked it out. And right. Like, <laughs> yeah. Do you do that? I mean, if you go online and looked yourself up, there'd be so many. You can't get into that, right? You can't. Sometimes look. it's fun to look at pictures and stuff, but it's yeah, it does make you slightly neurotic and insecure because everybody's critiquing all sorts of silly things. But right, right. Better, better not even to think about it. Yeah. Let's talk about the premise for the movie because we're okay. going to show a clip. Okay. What do people need to, to know? Well, um, well, basically, Ben gets married. He, they have a baby. The wife dies in childbirth, and then he's forced. He moves back. He loses his job and moves back in with his father, George Carlin, in New Jersey. And it's about him trying to come to terms with raising his daughter on his own. And so I come in sort of halfway through the movie, and he comes into this video store that I work in to rent a video. And he, while she's renting Dirty Dancing or something, he sneaks a porn. And I um, am a grad student writing a thesis paper about men fascinations with pornography so I start I'm like you need to write him. a thesis on that <laughs> what could be the attraction <laughs> I wonder why they watch it uh, so, I, so yeah I just like start interviewing him and I realize that he hasn't had sex for seven years so I feel really bad for him and I offer him a mercy jump as Kevin Smith says and uh, wow and then I think that's what this this How come clip that never is? happens in real life uh, <laughs> All these Hollywood ideas. Um, I feel sorry for you. I'll have sex with you. Uh, let's take a look at this clip from, uh, from Jersey Girl. Just a little behind the scenes action. While they're showing the clip, I wasn't able to watch because you got back into talking no! about your pants no! with me. <laughs> yeah. You were like, yeah, they really do. Yeah, and it's right here. And I'm like, come on, watch the clip. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's my problem? Why am I trying to? Oh, Lord. Uh, Jersey Girl opens March 26th. Thank you so much for Thank coming. You so yeah, much. Liv Tyler, everybody. Great to have you here. Liv Tyler, Juliet Lewis coming up. We'll be right back.